a thumbnail right here. Vitavon 2.2 B-Locks with the USD tires right here. Here they are. I've got three of these mounted up. I'm going to show you guys this wheel up close so you can actually see the construction of it. Get it on here and take it outside. Take a look. Check that out, guys. How awesome is that? So, yes, all those bolts have to come out to mount your wheels to mount them up. You see right here, got this one all set up. Mounts up really, really nice. I believe it even shows these, these exact tires on this. So, and yes, I did vent the tires. If I'm going to go take these things through the mud, I'll just add a little E6000 to the hole the night before and I'll be good to go. But I want the tires to absorb the landings. Plus the temperature change, especially right now. Uh, summertime inside is about 73. Outside can hit 100. You don't want all that added air pressure. You want the tires to work correctly. And added air pressure may cause an issue. Now, if you happen to be wondering about all that back here, well, you guys will have to look in the description about all those. Uh, a little bit interesting. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this apart, get a better look at it, and get it mounted. <laughs> Looking at the inner ring right here, I want to point out that the machine work is really nice. There's no real hard edges. If you get a real hard edge, especially right here, you're more susceptible to cut the bead. And that's not good. These do not feel like they are, you know, very hard at all. So should be fine with there. There's your outer ring. Of course, you got different colors and all that. You could probably mix and match if you wanted to, like chrome with orange or orange with chrome hmm interesting um yeah um no not opening up all those and here is the wheel itself the spokes look nice and beefy because this thing is a uh, rough go get it vehicle so everything looks nice and thick i like the design the outer bead on the back is nice and beefy it's not super thin and it looks like we can change hubs Maybe we'll be seeing some different hubs for different offsets and all that. But I think these are going to go on a bunch of different vehicles that I own. That's why I chose the full chrome. They just match everything. I could have done the orange, obviously. But, you know, uh, then it would have looked really crazy if I put it on the Wendigo. Which, these may go on the Wendigo too. But anyway, you guys know how I like to change wheels and tires around. So now I get to start working, get the tire on. These go on really well. I usually start with four bolts for something. I didn't have to use a longer bolt to get these started. So I like to get it started and look and make sure everything is in the bead. Uh, the other ones went on really good. And right at the very end, you can feel where they were a little bit tight. So that's what you want to get a little bit of a pinch on that bead. If not, the wheel will spin or the tire will come out of the bead. Hopefully we don't have any of those issues here. It is time to get these things swapped out. <laughs> Look at that. Already looking better because you guys know I like shiny things. Oh, I do. <laughs> and don't forget, you get new nuts with these. I got to find that fourth one. I'll find it quick. I tell you guys all the time, I love shiny things. And I'm not lying. Woohoo! Those fit the bill. Wow. They're probably going to be dusty by the time I finish this run. Because it is just nothing but dust out here. But at least I don't have sticky sand. You got stuck all over everything. I can air hose the heck out of these and I'm good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's still first gear. I think most of my driving in first gear now. Just for the big jump, second gear really gets it out there. Wow. This thing turns. Ha! This right here should be a piece of cake. It's just a little bit sandy. <laughs> Nice, got the turn.
Let's try that in second gear. Ooh. Oh, I didn't make the turn. I went over too far. We're going to finish this video up in the backyard, the Exoplex, with a whole bunch of brand new dirt. Oh, yeah. I got a lot, a lot of work to do. It's a good thing I don't have to do it with a shovel. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh and this stuff is soft, too. I'm about to get dirty. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh man. That was awesome. Why did you get back into second gear? <laughs> no. Wow. Beautiful. Now let's see if we can hit it with some speed. I don't have anything shaped yet. This is fresh out of the truck. Oh. All this fresh dirt makes that old pile look so lame. Poor old pile. <laughs> oh, <there we> go. <laughs> well, on the wheels. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh. Wow. Here we are again. Wonder if I can get it this time. No. Okay, this is it. This is it. Gotta hit that ridge just right. Oh. Well, um, maybe jumping it works. Well, jumping it seemed to work. Let's try that again. Oh, maybe getting low on battery. There we go. I'll take that. Well, or go backwards. <laughs> that was the softest crash I've ever had. Oh, oh it's totally clearing the whole pile. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened, but uh, the end result was cool. 
I'm pretty sure the launch is not good. I think this battery is starting to go. Oh, back flipped over the pile, smooth landing. Ha, I'm gonna end it with that. Awesome. Okay, one, once more. Oh, that was not so smooth. This is my air down table right here. I've driven it through the grass to get the dirt off of it. But what I want to look at, are there any beads coming off? Ooh, I can feel some heat in that belly right there. All the beads appear to be on good, solid. I did lose a few wheel nuts. I was able to find them. Uh, so blue thread lock, I kind of went a little overboard on the thread lock there. And go ahead and show you guys uh, wheel nut wrench had to kind of shave that down a little bit, but that's what got everything to stay on So now I'm gonna hit this with the air hose and uh, Get this thing aside so we can wrap this up. That was awesome. And that dirt back there Man, I should have done the whole video right there. Whoo. That was awesome How awesome was that? Uh, I like to see the wheels Seeing the wheels the way they're moving. That's that's always something that interests me uh, the black wheels, they're cheap, they're easy to manufacture, and that's why we have so many of them. Uh, but I, I like to see the wheels. I like to see all the shiny, the bright colors. I don't know. Maybe I'm not as old as I think I am. But anyway, uh, I like to see it. Now, the only complaint were with the wheel nuts. I had to shave down the 8mm uh, nut driver to fit into here to put these on. I did lose a couple of these. Luckily, they're nice and shiny. I was able to find them and get them back on. But uh, that's about the only issue that I can think of. So, might be some uh, blue thread lock. Get them on there, lock them into place, and let them sit and let all that stuff cure. Um, for me, I'm going to be trying these out on some different vehicles. Because you, know you, you know how I am. I get a new set of wheels or tires, boom, five different trucks. Ah. Why do you do that so much? Well, I'll tell you why. Because if these work on all these other things, that's great. If they don't work on something, well, you know what? If I can let you know that they don't work, there you go. But I got a feeling these are going to fit a lot of things. Um, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Guys, in, that, uh, in the description, we'll link up all the Vitavon stuff along with the Rift itself. Uh, it's got the Holmes Motor Castle ESC, the Raw 500 Servo. All kinds of awesome. So check that description. They are affiliate links. Make sure you use those. And uh, guys, thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.